it have got another lovely book that I have been gifted and uh, I thought I would show you a flip through of it as I looked through it for the first time. Um, it's come from um, the USA. Um, I think that is probably Target, I'm guessing. But I don't know anything about shops in the USA. I think when I went there, I used to shop at Trader Joe's. Not sure. Anyway, I'm just going to show you the size. So it's about nine inches. I think it's square. Yeah, it's exactly square. So it's nine by nine inches. And it's called Zen Doodle Colorscapes. And it says uplifting words, sweet sentiments to colour and display. Featuring artwork by Jeanette Wilmore, Bonnie Lynn DeManch, Deborah Muller and Justine Lustig. So there are four different um, four different illustrators being featured which is rather nice. So let's have a look at, uh, at the book. Um, we have a little bit of metallic um, on the cover, quite a thick cover. And it's not really a colourable cover. Let me see. So, um, so I've noticed straight away that you can tear the pages out, which means that it's, um, it is certainly designed, it says to colour and display, so obviously it is designed for um, framing and displaying, which is rather nice. Um, I do struggle in the UK to find square pitch frames though, but I think I have recently found out where to get them from, which is rather useful because I don't display any of my um, colouring. Um, I like to keep them in the book. Um, and then people can look through them if they want to and I can flip through and show you and things like that. But anyway, let's carry on and have a look. So we've got a pretty rose and a and a sort of floral um, leaf design. I like that. It's rather nice. Oops. Oh, here is our first page. And it just says uplifting words, features all the same sort of info. We've got a pretty sun design at the top. That's rather cute. And uh, here we go. Again, the pages are all um, um, perforated. I could put it into the middle, actually, because they're single-sided, I think. Yes, they're single-sided. I guess if you want to make a book for display purposes, it will be. So each of them, I think, will have a phrase and then a design around, which I've never done a book like this. So it's really interesting. Actually, that's a lie. I've got the um, Botanical Affirmations colouring book, and that has the words, and uh, but all all at the bottom. So this will be interesting and different. So always be on the lookout for the presence of wonder. That's a lovely sentiment, isn't it? And uh, we've got a lovely um, sort of geometric design behind there to colour. Now the paper, it feels it's not massively thick. But it feels to me, it's definitely thicker than copy paper, which is nice. And uh, so that's good. It's fairly smooth, but I can feel there's definitely a bit of tooth in there. So I think it's going to take um, pencil, pencil, layers of pencil, which is always good. And being single sided, it means you can use any sort of pen with it um, that you want. I'm just a bit worried because it seems to be, the book seems to be folding along the perforations. I don't want to... Um, accidentally break the pages but I think it's okay um, <clears throat> so I think you could use any sort of markers and as long as you put some paper behind to make sure it didn't bleed through to your next page always remember you are braver than you believe stronger than you seem and smarter than you think oh that's so true isn't it I know so many people who think they can't cope with situations and then when they absolutely have to they just are brilliant so I think we need to remember that one. And we've got a quite an interesting um, design in the background. I think this is called, it says Zen Doodle. So it indicates a sort of Zen Tangle type things. I don't, this looks more like a sort of mandala type designs in shapes, which is nice. In a world where you can be anything, be awesome. I've heard that so many times. It's so true and uh, it's so cool. And we've got a woven uh, design behind, which I think is really interesting. And then these sort of florals as well, which I rather like. Be happy. Uh, I can't read it. Stay active. I don't know what that is. Be happy and stay active. I think that's what it says. Oh dear, my, my reading skill. Hang on. Be hopeful, be hopeful, <laughs> stay positive. 
gosh I can't read obviously there we go be hopeful stay positive that's so true particularly in the UK at the moment I really need to do that really really do I was talking to someone today in a shop and uh, we we're having a bit of a moan about various things that are going on that I won't go into and uh, yeah that that's so true be the awesome you wish to see in the world. Now, yeah, I think we need to make sure that we put ourselves forward in the way that we th would like other people to be to us, really. Don't we? We've got a pretty design in the background there. Believing the impossible might just be possible. Optimism. Yes, yes, we do need to think that. I um, did a... Um, a read a book and then did a sort of conference on on that sort of thing positive thinking um stress management and goal setting and it was phenomenal it was really really amazing just showing how just by believing in things and um you know it can make such a big difference so that's really good you deserve the best oh that's cute isn't it look at those flowers i think that's a really cute one Keep the faith, definitely. Whatever um, you believe, you need to, you know, stick with it, I think. Don't let anyone, um, you know, make you think. If you, As long as your sentiments are right, uh, you know, um, kind, then do keep doing that. That's the same rose design from the front, actually. Life is a gift. Yes, that's interesting, isn't it? We need to uh, make sure that we uh, use it well. Let's say aim high. Yes, yeah, some people really need to uh, have a little bit of a reminder that they can, you know, go a long way if they want to. It's difficult, isn't it, for some people, particularly younger people. They uh, feel that they uh, can't necessarily achieve what they want to. I love this fact that these are arrows as well. Oh, he is cute, isn't he? dare to be different yeah but he's got she he necklaces funny hat wand love it it's a new day it's a good attitude you know try and forget about the past just treat each day as a you know clean slate it's true i like that sun design those floors are pretty lovely you make the world a better place oh that's cute isn't it I like those flowers. Be a nice one to give to your friend as a gift, wouldn't it? Keep smiling. Yes, so important. Whenever you see anyone when you're out in the street, always just give them a smile. It makes such a difference. They may not have had that smile that day yet. Today is your day. Mm, lovely. Look at that. I like the sun stars sort of design. You're in my heart. Oh, another one you could give to your friend, your partner. Nice one, Valentine's Day, maybe. Everything you do is magic. Wow, I do like that mystical, candly um, design. I like that. Feed your soul. Yeah, definitely. Lots of goodness. Take a chance. Yes, risky. I don't, I'm not. I'm completely risk adverse. It's just no, not me. I never do. Never take risks. Um, no, never. <laughs> Maybe I need to colour that one straight away. Chase your dreams. Yes, definitely. Go for it. But have fun along the way. You lift me up. Oh, another one to give to a friend. So nice. Lovely. And colouring balloons as well can be quite a challenge. So I think that will be a fun one. I do like doing balloons myself. Love will prevail. Let's hope. Let's really hope. I think at the moment in the world, it's something that we are all really, really hoping for. Celebrate the sweetness of life. Mm, lovely. And we've got, look at this very pretty um, design in the background. 
comfort and joy. Oh, it's a Christmas themed one. Look at those baubles. And it's a Christmas, it's from a Christmas song, of course, but really just a lovely sentiment, isn't it? Do what you love, love what you do. Mm, yeah, I like that. Look at all those hearts. Lovely. Coming up to Valentine's or maybe past. I don't know. I don't know when this is going out. We'll see. Dream big. Mmm. Had a similar one, haven't we, to that? So true. Nothing great was ever achieved without enthusiasm. So true. So true. You need to make sure you stay enthusiastic about the projects you're doing or else you just won't have the energy to carry them through, I believe, anyway. Follow your bliss. Mmm. Good plan. Very pretty. Hope. Mmm. I like that. We've got quite a plain background, like a tiled effect, and then lots of detail in the words. Really nice. Happiness is found in gratitude, in a kept promise, in a good conversation, in friendship in an achieved goal, in a fond memory, in all the simple magnificence of life. Yep, so true. And I think it's up to us to try and find that happiness in everything that we do and see whether it's something that, you know, we go for a walk and we see a pretty tree, whether we chat to someone, whether we're at work and we just achieve something, make someone smile. Have an exciting empowering, fulfilling, inspiring, productive, extraordinary, amazing, full of boundless potential life. Wow, those are a lot of words, aren't they? But yes, I think we can. Very pretty florals on that page too. Have courage. Yep, that is something that can be tricky. Again, look at these, I like these. Hope is the only thing stronger than fear. Hmm, how interesting. Look at all these little details. I like those. That's fun. Inspire. I try to. I do. Love. Again. Yeah, try hard, don't we? May all your dreams come true. I love that ribbony effect and the bows. They're so pretty. And be fun to colour. Sing your song. Mm, we have musical notes, but we also have pretty patterns as well. Sometimes you just got a dream. Yeah? And I like this. Stars and swirls, like it's sort of night time. Many of life's failures are people who did not realise how close they were to success when they gave up, keep going. Mm, I s half agree with that. I like these flowers though and, and, the, um, and the grasses. It's really pretty. I have, you know, I've run my business for 20 years almost and I've had to try change the direction of my business quite a few times in order to keep profitable just because... Um, customer demands change so I think you also have to be realistic and um, adapt the best is yet to come we'll see won't we I think think happy thoughts so well, that's a pretty pattern behind definitely agree with the sentiment as well I like that and trying to, because we've got a lot of detail here and here, it's trying to think of how would you make that fade back but still look pretty. And this in the front, I would thinking maybe pencil in the background, then pen on these like metallics or something to stand out. Mm. When it rains, look for rainbows. When it's dark, look for stars. So true, looking for the positive and happiness in everything. We've got a rainbow to colour, although one, two, it's only got four, four bits. I'm sure we can uh, do something with that. You can't smooth out the surf, but you can ride the waves. Yes, that's quite a common phrase, isn't it? And it's, it's so true. And it's also um, reflected in enjoy the journey. And this looks like it could be water and sea foam. Oh, we've got all around the other way. I'm not going to turn the book. I think it's going to be too complicated with my tripod in the way. Make today memorable. 
Yeah, I like that. I would like to have something to tell my boys when they come in, when we're sitting around the table having our tea. Um, unfortunately, my husband's always home later, but we all, I try and find out what they did in their day and have a little story of something to tell them. Um, you are amazing. Mm, I like those flowers. It's true, you are all amazing. You are all beautiful too. It's like a mirror, isn't it? Mm, I've got a, uh, a mirrored pen. Oops. Believe in yourself. We really must remember to do that. Have more confidence and self-esteem. Take a chance. Again, oh, don't think I can, sorry. Count your blessings, definitely. Definitely feeling very grateful for this book. It was a gift and, you know, I feel very grateful. Very kind people. Sometimes when the world doesn't look like it's kind, then when you receive a bunch of gifts all in one day, a load of books and postcard and bits and bobs, it just makes you know that there are lovely people there. Eat a dessert first. <laughs> Look at all those cakes and candies and things. Wow. Mm, I'm not a big pudding person, I'm afraid, but uh, I see what they mean. But uh, no, always main first. I'm a mum. I can't let my kids have pudding first. <laughs> let love grow. Oh, pretty florals. Really nice. Grow where you are planted. That's an interesting. I've never heard that phrase before. I guess it means just make the best of what you are and where you are. Very true. Look at these. Very cool. Be inspired, definitely. Very pretty. I think there could be lots of colour going on on that page. Lots of colour. Life is a journey. It sure is. Look at those mountains. They're fabulous. Hmm. Yeah. Find a joy in all you do. We really should. Yeah, we really should. Life is beautiful. It is. We all live in a lovely planet and we need to appreciate it. Young at heart. Sometimes, sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. Hopefully. Children keep you young. Look at that. That's beautiful. Sparkle and shine. Oh, it's making a noise. Oh, it's just the pages, I believe. I think it's okay. Um, there's a st I like the stars and the sort of planets and things. We're looking sort of spacey type picture. It's fun. You are my sunshine. No. Very pretty florals there. Really interesting. Good vibes only. Yeah. I think so. What are you waiting for? It's a good question, isn't it? It's a good question. I like this uh, outside. Mm. You are worth it. Oh, nice. Very pretty. I think that's the last one. So there we go. Let's have a look at the back. It says, happy words to turn that frown upside down. A beloved visionary once said, kind words can be short and easy to speak, but their echoes are truly endless. In Zen Doodle Colour Scapes Uplifting Words, endless echoes of happiness await you with every turn of the page, a collection of inspirational sayings that will lift your spirits. This book is filled with opportunities to beautify more than 60 pieces of art. When your masterpiece is complete, you can easily remove the page to frame, display or give as a gift. Lovely. So, and it also has some other... Um, books in the series on the back. There we go. There is the um, book in all its shining glory. So that is lovely. And uh, and there are some really interesting and fun pictures in that one to have a go at. So uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you uh, found that interesting. And uh, have a lovely day and happy colouring.
Hi everyone, I have finished this um, colouring book and I thought I would do a little flip through for you. Um, it is called Uplifting Words. I haven't tried to remove this sticker. I didn't want to spoil the cover. Um, Zen Doodle Colour Escapes it says at the top and uh, has artwork from four different um, artists. Um, I have got a flip through of the um, uncoloured book if you do want to see what it looks like without colouring you can see either it's been well used so let's have a little look through um it's a bit of shiny on the cover it's catching my lamp I'm sure that's fine so here we have the very first page I actually only covered coloured that last night because I wasn't didn't actually realize that uh, that um it wasn't done so uh, that was good I'm trying to remember what I used but I can't I remember what pencils I grabbed for that it was probably actually some poly colors I just grabbed something from the tin next to me I've got a little tin of 10 12 12 maybe and uh, it's quite handy just if you want something quick Oops. and then we have this page um, this is done in metallic pencils look um, these are the Boot Funa, um 12 set of metallic pencils. They're quite different to the 50 set. But again, I just wanted something quick to grab to do this little one, which I also did last night because these two, I thought I'd finished the book and then I turned to the front and realised I had these couple of pages not done. So I just spent a little bit of time doing those. And here we start proper. So each page has a little quote and then um, area to colour. This is very discoloured over here. So it's quite interesting. I'm having a look at these. These are done, I am pretty sure, with Stedler metallic pens. And I find they're not terribly shiny. They're in fact not really any more shiny than a metallic pencil, but which surprised me when I got them. But, and they're quite thick, but they work quite well for this particular design. There wasn't a lot of colouring because I didn't want to do behind the words. So I just had a play. I was probably new. I was probably just playing with them. And you can see these are all perforated. So you can actually tear them out and frame them if that's something that you want to do with these. Now this one, um, I had a lot of... Um, yeah, I decided to make it look like sort of old 1960s, 70s wallpaper colours or clothing, hippie clothes, you know, and with these colour scheme, yeah, it was really good. Um, it was a long time ago when I did this page, but, you know, I uh, I was really pleased with how it came out, actually. Now, this one I did try to do a little bit of shading. I did some different colours in the weave. It was really um, a, quite a big undertaking. And then what I did was I used some glitter pen just on the word awesome um, around the edge and with some dots. Um, it's an orange glitter pen, I think, just to make it stand out, which is hard depending on where the light is, just because, you know, the word, that's the whole point is saying be awesome. So I did that. And this one, the word again, has got glitter pen on this, the circles on the word and they're all done with glitter pen. The rest of it is done with um, normal water-based markers. These are tripless fine liners. I suspect the glitter pen is probably, um, yeah, it's probably a Castle Arts one. That can't be 100% sure. Now this I decided to keep a limited colour palette, as you can see. The eyes I had quite fun colouring. Um, the silver, this is in silver pencil, as far as I can tell. It might be the, the Stedler Metallic, which is a bit flat. Um, around the edge here, this is actually a Posca pen, I'm, I think. It looks like paint. But then I just did this sort of teal and grey. And I haven't tried that again since, but I really like it. So that's interesting. Now here we have... Um, a sort of basket weave type effect. Again, I've just used a very limited colour palette to really um, sort of bring out the sort of word and not make it look too messy. And this one, we've got um, tripless um, pens again, um, waterproof markers, just a lot of colour really on that one. And again, this one's pens as well. Oh, that's, I thought I recognised that that isn't it just that one's a little bit smaller but this is done in pen and what I've done here is I've layered up the pen so I've used a a pink and then done a few layers and then done a bit of purple to try and show the um 
the depth in the row so I layered up the pen so you can see how it didn't actually go through as much as I might expect. There we go. Another pen picture here. I've tried to layer them up again on the roses but it hasn't been quite so effective on this one. I think because I didn't have a darker red. Um, so I, And again a limited palette. I think a limited colour palette can really um, help something to look good. My yellow was running out which is a bit of a shame but that's often the case with pens. This one is pencil. Um, I can't tell you which ones. We've got a very pretty um, pale pink there. I'm wondering if they're Arteza. Um, with the teal as well. This is my favourite one. Um, I, my friend who bought me this book, Michelle, she we did quite a few buddy colours and this was one of the first ones. So she really likes owls. So I really went to town with this one, um, you know, doing this bit of background. It was just a cloud stencil and some pastels, but I just felt that because he was on a branch, and there's leaves I felt like he needed some sky so that's what I did a lot of these don't really have um, the need for a background but this one because it's more of a scene I popped one in there so nice sunny colors you know I always often feel you know when I'm doing a sun that's the one from the front isn't it um, I want there to be lots of yellows and oranges so I've sort of matched it all in together really And then here, this around the edge here, this is a metallic pen. I don't know if it's a Posca or it might be one of these Stedler ones again. It's not terribly shiny, a little bit though. And But inside we've got pencils. I remember doing this one actually and really layering on. This is pencil but I did it really thickly because I wanted it to really stand out. There's some white pen dots here and there as well just to try and um, pretty up our flowers a little bit more because they're very cute. Oh, another sun. Um, again, warm colours, warm sunny colours, trying to make the stars look shiny, that sort of thing. I think, you know, might have been helped with a bit of glitter pen around each star, but sometimes if I want to then colour another page in the book straight after, I can't use glitter pen because if I turn it over, it'll smudge it. So sometimes I don't do it. Um, Yes, heart. I always like pink or red hearts. That's what I was thinking there. And then just matched everything in. I think a blue, pink, purple colour scheme actually works very well together. And with the um, leaves, I kept them in a more bluey green. And that just ties it all together, I feel. Oh yes, this is a sort of magical one. So I want, I had, I'm not sure I must, whether I had a colour scheme in mind because the candle flame is silver. Um, I think it's a silver pencil, it is, it's a silver pencil, I don't know what brand, but um, I I kept the flame silver, I think I didn't want it warm because it's all colour and I thought it was more magical looking if it wasn't like a proper colour, you know, so uh, I tried that. Oh, we have another um, more warm palette this time. Um, I really like this sort of, sort of olivey yellowy green with an orange. I think it works quite well. So that's what I was going for there. Oh, now we have, these are tulips I was, I'm thinking, probably, which is why I would have done them pink. But we've got a bit of a mix. We've got a pinks and purples, but then we've got a warmer colour in the middle. Now this one is again a bit of a mix because we've got red but we've got lilac and green not something I would normally put together but actually I don't know whether I used a colour cube card um, for a palette a colour palette or whether I just thought of that I don't know oh yeah I struggled a little bit with the balloons I wanted them to look more shiny and more rounded but I think I probably didn't choose the right brand of pencil. It's a very pale blue background so the clouds are white and the background's blue. I'm not sure if it really shows up very well. Oh we've got some very pale um, sort of apricot-y colours on this one. I think perhaps I was thinking I don't use those colours very often so I'll have a go and I think it matches together well. Mm. Now here I have a really pretty subtle pink colour, um, which I'm not normally a pinky person, but I quite like, I, it's the sort of Barbie fuchsia pink. Or this, that pink, ugh. or even this one, 
Ugh. But that one, yes. <laughs> Sorry for you people who like those pinks. <laughs> Not for me. You may dislike colours I like. So I've put the lighter lilac with it to just keep it quite toned down. Oh, this was a Christmassy one I felt. Where it looked like ball balls and comfort and joy, you can see. So I did glitter pens. Some of these, I think that one I recorded as a short. Maybe that one as well. And um, put them up on YouTube as a bit of fun. Um, now, this was very, um, lots of hearts, lots of pink, you know. But I thought if I do the writing in a really bold, this is um, purple Posca pen. Um, it really stands out then um, from all the pinky hearts that are going on and not my favourite pinks but you know you have these pinks you need to use them sometimes and it just felt like it needed a Barbie fuchsia type pink but I moved aside from pink on this one <laughs> I'm not sure what colour this is it's almost like an ochre with a salmon it's a bit of an odd combination but hey a bit different isn't it now here we have just silver and gold. These are both pencils. They're not particularly shiny. A little bit. Um, I'm not sure what brand um, of pencil they are because I've got a few metallic pencils. I may have maybe polychromos because I had those. I might or it might be a Georgione gold with a uh, Prisma very thin silver or something like that. I'm not sure. Okay, so this one is another one done in pen. Um, water-based tripless markers. Um, quite a lot with those I've been trying to run them down a little bit before they run out so sometimes I just use them on a picture. Oh excuse me, I've got my nose decided to run. So this is quite plain and simple one. Sometimes you know we're not in the mood for doing anything too um, difficult. We just want a repetitive pattern which is what I did there. Now here, there's a big load of text, but what I did was I kept all the flowers the same colour just to keep it all tied in. It's also um, symmetrical, so almost, almost symmetrical. Where the f so that sort of influenced me as well by trying to keep it similar. Another one done with the uh, with pens. Um, you can see I've got a big mistake there you can't do anything unless I'd done the whole background black or something which was rather daunting thought and I don't know if I had a black so I didn't <laughs> but this one we have much more shiny pens the words are actually not there the words there's glitter on them but I'm wondering if the pen just wasn't very glittery or whether the glitter on them is just spread from the other items I'm not sure there it is that one. These are well, these would have been cast last glitter pens. This one with pencil. I try to make all the circles look spherical by going around the edge with a little bit more um, with more layers. I'm not sure how well that comes out, but greys and reds I felt go quite well together. And here we have some quite pretty blues actually. I do like um, just blue and white, um, but I feel that that and that probably should have been coloured in, not left white, but uh, <laughs> oops, I don't know what pencils I use though. Oh, I remember this one was most definitely a colour palette, a colour keep card, um, because I would never have thought of putting these sort of reddy violets together with orange and black, so what I did was did it as two separate sections because I couldn't think of another way to meld them together, so I kept these sort of oranges here and and the, with the black border to keep and I was really pleased actually with how that came out um color wise I was really not sure if it would work, but I think it has. Now this one I just wanted to have a go at the ribbons, um, making them look dark and light, which uh, which I um, that's why I just stuck to one a couple of colours because I just wanted to concentrate on the ribbon work and yeah, I enjoyed that one. So this one, again, I'm not sure I would choose a brown, so I'm not sure if it was a a uh, card, a colour keep card or not. Hmm. Oh, we have lots of gold. 
Look at that, gold stars. Gold star for everyone. <laughs> That's fun, isn't it? So it's just a bit of plain felt tip pen, which is very bright. And then, uh, and then the gold stars. This one, I know what pen this is. This is one of those. In the Castle Arts gel pen set, they have a set of 100. They have pens called um, Swirl. And they've got different types of ink. So they change colour as you use them. So if you look here, you can see it's quite bright pink. And it goes to a bit more of a murky pink as we get round here. And then this is quite a grey pink. And it's just where it's mixing in with the green. And then here you can see this green changes to a sort of pinky green. I, To be honest, I'm not very keen on them at all. I, uh, The nib sizes are quite small, which makes them quite difficult to use. You can see there's lots of white lines in there. And also, when the colour flows into another, it just looks a bit dirty. It doesn't look nice. You know, when you have a fountain pen and you change the ink cartridge from sort of... Um, blue to red you get a really nice transition of color through as you use it and change color or to blue to black or whatever you might do but this I just didn't think it quite worked I think don't know if it was the color choices or what it was ah so here we just have pink and gray this is done with the tripless pen I can see the gray is nearly run out I think I struggled a bit Sometimes I find when I'm doing a picture and it isn't just quite working, so this is running out, I sort of lose enthusiasm. It's not my best work, but, you know, it's still relaxing for me. And to be honest, that's all it should be about, really. Now, this is done with um, metallic pencils. I can see the shine a little bit. Not massive, but uh, I think these are probably the Brute Funa Metallic um, 12 set from the looking at the colours. Now, this one is definitely done with the Stedda metallic pens and you can see how they really aren't very shiny. They're as shiny as, um, I, as a pencil. Now I think they would look better on black rather than white which is fair enough but I think they might be better on a non-porous su surface. I'm not sure if they're designed really for writing on plastics or wood or things like that rather than paper. Some pen paint is not so good on paper like um and poscas work on both but um some pens really don't now this one i didn't really know what to do with and it mentions the surf so i thought it was supposed to be the sea now rather than coloring the black background blue like the sea and then leaving all this white like it was the foam i decided to do the opposite partly because it was easier and partly because i thought it might still make sense i'm not sure if it does Oh, we'll just turn this one around. This one says uh, make today memorable and I decided a good way to think about making something memorable was to make it really bright so I used lots of bright colours on that one. I couldn't tell you what pencils I used but oops let's go up a bit. But I just wanted it really bright and cheery. There we go. That's a nice, um, nice thing isn't it? You are amazing. So here basically the idea was to keep a limited palette. I've missed out those petals, look at that. And then for the writing to be a different colour so it stood out. So this is trying to be the darkest, boldest bit of the page. So that was that. Um, I, I know I purposely missed that bit out because I didn't know what it was, but I'm pretty sure I should have um, done those petals and those dots there. My goodness, I was in a hurry. <laughs> now this one was interesting because this is a mirror. I think. So I was like, what am I going to do? I actually did have a colour cube card and it had red, two shades of green, no, two shades of grey, sorry, a green and a blue. And I was like, well, I don't know what to do. So I used the grey for the mirror as if it was silver and then a bit across here as if it's reflecting. Put the red here so it was really bright. Put the green in the back because I know we've got flowers, we've got leaves and I thought this would stand out and that's a good thing. But then I had a blue and I just didn't use it, you know. Oh, here we have this one. Now this one is using um, metallic pencils. I'm not sure which ones these are. Because this one is quite a strange colour. I think they might be the Brute Funas. Actually, I may have used um, a palette, colour palette for that. I don't remember, to be honest. 
there's a lot of pink. Sometimes I look at, I, I'm like, actually not with this one, this is a colour palette. I remember there were three shades of pink, a brown and a blue. Sometimes with a set of pencils, I look at it and I look at the ones that have been used the least, which are usually the pinks, and then I just grab those and use them just for the sake of using them up and trying to do something out of my comfort zone. But as I say, that wasn't the case with this one. Uh, oh, this was a complete disaster. Look at this mess around here. I was colouring away and I did this tree. Um, I thought this was a plant. I didn't think of it as a tree to start with. I didn't really look at the picture. And I did this green and it. Now I realised it should be brown. So I tried to erase it and it's just smudged it and it looks awful so unfortunately I wasn't really very enthused when I did the rest of it and it's just like Ugh, a bit nasty oh well, this was uh this one um was uh, a bit different though I quite like coloring food so doing a sort of stripy cupcake case and doing an ice lolly and things like that and with this donut this color here I can't remember what pencils it was but I knew that this color if I put white pen on top of it it would um, go bright pink like some pens do, like some pencils do. So I tried an experiment to leave the white is actually white paper that I've left and uh, it worked really well and I did the same over here with the cherry and I've done it, I did it in a video for you as well to show you. I'm trying to think what video it was. Oh yes, it was one of the um, Lulu Mayo videos, um, the, the morning series that are running you may have already seen it i'm trying to think i'm not sure so um i show you how i did it i mean it could you it could be really straightforward for some people but other people might like a little bit of help in knowing how to do it so i thought i would just have a go at it um this one i'm not sure if i used a card because there's pink red black no, I don't think I did. I'm not sure why I chose those particular colours, but uh, sometimes it's just a bit of an experiment, isn't it? Okay. Now this one wanted the words to stand out, like I often do on these pages, but I used the colour that was sort of through the page a little bit. So rather than doing it pink, and we've got a lot of pink, I thought the yellow, and it's bright, it stands out more. That was the idea on that one. Oh yeah, this one I decided to use some metallic pencils again. And it was quite a daunting picture, so I just split it into sections, really. Rather than doing each little bit, I just coloured that whole bit. Um, probably a bit of a cheat, but you know, it, it worked for me. Ah, here we have our mountains. Now, I wasn't really sure... Um, how to colour them to make them all look different but I had a new set of pencils gifted to me the Yova set which won 80 pencils there you would have had the review of those already so I picked out different greys from there for the mountains and a blue but then I used a metallic blue for for every other line and this if you um if I pull it up you can see in fact I might have used them for um the previous one that might have been the metallics from that set anyway so I did a bit of metallic um, it's not massively shiny but it was just a bit different this one I did a long time ago um, and I used a star stencil because there was a lot of background I didn't know what to do with it I don't know how easy it is to see the stars I on, I used glitter pen so I used a colour of glitter pen that went with the colours that I used in the main page so I uh, yeah so it's really limited colours but I think purple and bluey green work very well together this one was just um, again trying my new pencils out so uh, I was trying to blend them through which was worked well I thought and just trying out some of the different colours and things like that so uh, that's that one this one is done in all metallics. I think these are definitely my new Yova metallics. In the set of 180, you get 12 metallic pencils. Um, it's not all of them. There's a silver, which I haven't used there. 
Um, let's see, I've used one, two, three. Oh, look, I've missed a bit there. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there's 12, nine. Yeah, there's a few I haven't used. As I say, the silver I didn't use. For that. Now, this page was so daunting. I had no clue what to do with it. So I read what it said sparkle and shine so I coloured block coloured these in just plain well I've done a bit of a tried to make these look a little bit spherical and then I've chosen a Sakura um, sparkly glitter pen and gone over all the lines on each section so this was a yellow pen this was the purple pen this was the silver pen the red pen and the dark blue pen so I chose the pens to uh, Try and add a bit of glittery sparkle. It really doesn't want to show up. You just have to believe me. Maybe it shows up better than I think. I don't know. Now this one, you're my sunshine. So I wanted really sunny colours. So this is actually done with polychromos, and I grabbed like the chrome yellow, the orangey yellows, and the light oranges. I don't know. I can't remember all the names. But to, to do that and then just a mid green for the leaves so that they were all the same and uh, the sort of sunny colours really stood out. Now this one I was trying out Winsor & Newton watercolour pens. It's a mess. Um, look at this. They, uh, if you over colour you get a big a lot it's you know they don't let lie down quite very evenly i have had success with them coloring smaller areas like mandalas with thin lines and things like that but for this page i don't really like how it looked but you know it i was just experimenting with them husband gave them to me um, because they were his you can see they go, don't go through the page where you get all that ghosting um he um he bought them and didn't use them so he said I could play with them so I have been a little bit. Now this was done with Holbein pastel pencils. I've got, well actually not just pastel pencils, I've got a set of 12 Holbeins but I also brought, bought a few beiges when Johanna Basford's Worlds of Wonder came out because I wanted some colours for buildings which I didn't end up really using very much for that and a few extra greens as well. So that's sort of all Holbeins. Just to have to do something different and this is the very last page and I did this one again in metallic um, pencil it's quite hard to see you know metallic pencils don't have a huge shine but uh, these are the Brute Funa um, 12 metallic pencils I've forgotten to do the heart I remember thinking right I need to do that at the end hmm never mind didn't do it but there we go that is that book so there we go there are a few ideas for you there um if you uh, i don't know where whether this book's still easily available if it is i will put some links in the um obviously this has been bought from target um it was sent to me as a gift but um i'm sure it's probably still available online so i'll put some links to it um if i can find them but thank you so much for watching um i hope you have a really super day and happy coloring